on today's menu, a delicious and saucy recipe you'll absolutely love. Delicious tofu rice bowl. Lei ho ma, I'm Will Young from youngmancooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. This recipe is so easy, so delicious. You'll definitely want to make this today. Half cup rice. I find half a cup of rice is good enough for one portion. I'm just making enough for myself today, but of course you can add more rice to make more. Rinse and drain the rice two to three times to get rid of the excess starch. Half cup water. Medium high heat. When the water starts to bubble, give the rice a good stir to release any rice grabbing the bottom of the pan. Then turn the heat to medium low, cover and cook for 15 minutes. Two pieces of garlic, finely chopped. Small piece of ginger, finely chopped. Chop 70 grams of broccolini into bite-sized pieces. Pat dry 200 grams of extra firm tofu, then slice into cubes. That's basically the prep done. I always try to keep it really nice, simple, easy, and delicious. And if you love simple, easy, and delicious recipes, then definitely check out that vegan ramen cookbook or the Cook with Confidence cookbook that has most of your favorite recipes from the show here on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check these out, take a sneak peek inside the book, or get your signed copy. After 15 minutes, turn the heat off on the rice and let it steam further for 10 minutes. One teaspoon potato starch. Quarter cup water. Stir to dissolve the potato starch. One tablespoon plant-based oyster sauce. Half tablespoon soy sauce. One teaspoon toasted sesame oil. One tablespoon maple syrup. Stir. Non-stick pan. Medium heat. Drizzle of avocado oil. Saute the tofu for three to four minutes. Set aside the tofu. Pat 
Pan back on medium heat, add in the broccolini. Garlic and ginger. Salt it for 2 to 3 minutes. Add back in the tofu, followed by the sauce. Give it a good stir for about 10 seconds. Quarter cup water. Continue to cook for 3 to 4 minutes. Plate the rice followed by the delicious tofu. Garnish with some freshly chopped green onion. Top off with some toasted white sesame seeds. You can now enjoy this simple and delicious dish with absolute confidence. That looks insanely delicious. Man, you will not believe how packed with flavor that is. That is really incredible. Visually, it's just beautiful. I mean, I love when you can make something at home in your very own kitchen and just pump out something that looks restaurant quality. First things first, that sauce is incredibly delicious. It has that saltiness from the soy sauce, the delicious aromatic kind of flavor from the toasted sesame oil, the incredible umami from the plant-based oyster sauce, and of course you have that delicious kind of caramel sweetiness from that delicious maple syrup. And it's incredible how it looks like it was a lot of liquid in that sauce, but it just cooks down and the potato starch helps make this sauce incredibly glossy and thick and luscious. The tofu, because we seared it a little bit, gives it that bit of a crispier outer layer, prevents it from falling apart. And of course it adds that delicious meatiness and that sauce literally just gets absorbed in that tofu. And the broccolini adds the little bit of that crunchiness, the green onions, the garlic, the ginger, it's just so aromatic and adds that bit of a punch of flavor and that green onion adds the freshness. The rice is just cooked perfectly and of course if you have your rice cooker you don't have to cook it on the stove top. In this episode I'm using sushi rice because I just love the incredibly plump fluffiness of it. I just love being able to mix that delicious white fluffy rice into that amazing luscious sauce and just mix all the flavors and textures together just beautiful and absolutely delicious. That is just so packed with flavor, so easy to make, absolutely love it. And if you love easy and delicious recipes like this, then definitely check out that vegan ramen cookbook or the brand new cookbook simply titled Cook With Confidence. It has most of your favorite recipes from the cooking show here on YouTube. And of course, if you'd like to take a sneak peek inside the book, I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check that out, as well as get your signed copy. As always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you in the next episode.